Hi everyone, this week we're going to go through the actual steps to doing the little photo shoot. Now we're going to be doing a fall mum today, and as you can see, I've got um, it set up on a nice little stand here, just white, easy to knock out. It's against the light here, this is how we do it, so we have a nice white background. I've got my camera over here, set up on a tripod. Uh, the reason we do this is that, as you know, when you take a picture, you've probably experienced this with your cell phone or just any other phone, it's a little shaky sometimes. It's hard to keep your hand still, and even if you've got a perfect you know, posture or you're standing perfectly still, there's still a little bit of shaking that picks up. So what we do is we put it on a tripod, and we're actually going to set a timer to take the picture. That way, you know, there's no shaking. It's as clear and no blurs as possible. So I'll come over here, and the first thing I'll do is I'll take a look at the shot. Now with this mom, most of the blooms are at the top, so I'm actually going to try to angle the shot down a little bit. So I'll get a little bit closer, angle it down, I'll zoom in, I'll try to get it as much as the frame as possible, because this way, you know, I get as large of an image as possible. This image could be used for print, posters, web, so I want to have as big as possible so I can use it for whatever I need. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my timer, which is 10 seconds. First you got to have the camera on. <laughs> Timer. Now what I'll do while the timer's on is I'll take this black sheet and come up over here. And what I'm doing is some glare on the side of the basket. So this will bounce the light off of it and will also bounce black to darken it. Now it'd be great if we had two of these or if there were two people doing it. If not, what I do, if the glare's on the other side, which I looked in there, there wasn't for this one, but if it was a vase, I would then take another picture on this side, and then in Photoshop, I would combine the two pictures, merge them together, that way there'd be shading on both sides. Once you're done with the photo shoot, I'd recommend getting some close-up shots of the flowers. These images are great for Pinterest, Facebook, e-cards. You know the type of pictures I'm talking about where the you know, frame is full of flowers. These blooms are beautiful, it's perfect for fall. So I'm just gonna snap a close-up there, I'll send it over to Shelby, and it'll be on our social media. All